1967, I got my first origami book called Secrets of Origami. And it was a picture of Akira Yoshisawa, the Japanese expert, and a monkey he'd made. When I heard he was coming down to London to speak at the Japanese embassy, that's me, by the way, with long hair in 1971. And uh, I went down and met with all these people who were origami experts. The one in the background there is called David Lister. He was a president of the society at that time. And then over here, you'll just see Akira Yoshisawa. There he is with his cup of coffee. Now, at the meeting was also a man called Alfred Bestel, who used to draw the Rupert the Bear cartoons for the Daily Express. And he came up to me and said, I want to introduce you to Akira Yoshisawa. And one of the reasons was that I had earlier in the year folded this model from a strip of paper called the Flexicube. You'll find instructions elsewhere on the internet if you type in Flexicube, Philip Noble. And it's basically just a long strip of computer tape folded into squares, but hinged in such a way as you can rotate it and make the square turn inside out. So I gave this over to Akira Yoshisawa. He held it in his hands and turned it over a few times. And then he beckoned me to the side and got a bit of brown paper and started folding like so. And he had a, a sponge as well, because he loved doing wet folding, but I'm just showing you roughly what it's like. Um, slow it down if you need to. The, if you know origami, this shouldn't be too hard for you. But the, the fish base, fold it in half lengthways, and then little bits, the edge bits, the little bits come out as the hair. Now you have two long points down the bottom, but before you go there, you'll find there's a little kind of pocket just formed at the top there, and you can put your fingers in and squash them and make the eyes. Then you bring up the top layer, put in zigzag folds at various points. You'll adjust them to make it the way you want it to look. You can make a lower lip and then you can make the bottom of the nose and then the bridge of the nose. And then bring up the bottom again and tuck it in and make a bottom lip as well. So just take time to adjust and over and over. The more times you make it, the more you'll get used to it and you'll make a nice face just as he did. He did in just a few seconds and I'll show you after a little process his one, but that's my version, um, just to give you the idea. Turn the little edges in to make the shape a little bit better. There you are. So that's the mask, the basic mask that he made and gave to me then. Um, a few more versions of it I tried out uh, just recently. The middle one I tried to put a tea bag over it to stain it a bit, but it didn't work very well. But you see the idea? Um, the bottom tips come down now. Here's the one that he made for me, and you'll see the difference. How the Wetting of the paper and the crushing is just so perfect. But he made an even better one, I found it on the internet, a kind of self-portrait, using much the same technique. And I think that's quite amazing. So that's how Akira Yoshisawa made a mask for me 50 years ago in the Japanese embassy.